Hello, hello again, YouTubers. This is Salem Blood, and I'm welcoming, welcoming you back. Uh, this is a part two to uh, Cal Prime's getting to know a Transformers fan, The Third Strike. As I said before in the first video, I did not participate in Strike one or in one or two, so I'm having to answer all 15 questions in this one. So. Uh, last question I was I answered was uh, whose video do you enjoy watching? I believe I answered that. So let's go on to number nine. Okay, so number nine is uh, which transformer is your holy grail? And that would have to be Optimus Prime's uh, masterpiece. The Masterpiece Optimus Prime with trailer. That is the my holy grail I have yet to pick up. Mostly because uh, just out of my price range. I'm just not able to afford him. Uh, I uh, came close to getting him, but we'll wait for uh, number 11. Uh, number 10 is, if you could transform into anything, what would it be? That would have to be uh, an alternate plane or some kind of Cybertronian plane mode, more reminiscent of um, Blitzwing's uh, animated Blitzwing's plane mode. You know, it's a plane with tank treads on it. So yeah, that'd be good. Or maybe Megatron's flying tank. That'd be perfect. I could fly, go on land, and blast things with a large cannon. <laughs> Plus, it's very goth, so cool. Okay, uh, number 11, how close have you came to getting your Holy Grail? I was in Walmart one time, <coughs> and, the, uh, and it was just the Optimus Prime it was all plastic. I would much better have the one that has uh, that has uh, the uh, metal in it. But an all plastic one, I was willing to get. Uh, price was twenty five dollars. At least that's what it said on the shelf. I found it on. Took it to the nearest scanning station. And the scanning station revealed that it was actually sixty dollars out of my price range still, and I couldn't get it, didn't get it, wish I could have, but didn't. So that's how close I came to getting my holy grail, and it's eluded me once again. Okay, number twelve, what has been the best toy you have purchased over the last twelve months? Well, then that is simple, and let me get my camera up, and that would be, that would be Animated Prowl. I love this toy. He's the only animated figure I have, any, by the way, and so he's wonderful. He's extremely posable, and I love him. All right. Uh... Number thirteen. What is your um? What is for you the best piece of Transformers fiction ever? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna say G1 and Beast Wars because they I consider them part of the same continuity or fiction. And especially Beast Wars. These machines, no, it just got too complicated. Only Beast Wars. Uh, so, uh, but if I have to choose between G1 and Beast Wars, it would have to be Beast Wars. But G1 would uh, is a lot better in my mind. Which Transformers continuity is your continuity? G1 and why? Because it had a lot more characters. I hate that uh, animation, ca animated cartoons from these days. The writers don't feel skilled enough to have more than five characters or five main hero heroic characters in a show. 
maybe six heroic characters if they're willing to stretch it, but just the five. But G1 had a ton of characters, a ton, a lot more characters than you can count on both your hands. And these were just the hero characters. There were even a lot of villain characters. Oh my goodness. That's the way animation uh, writing should be to have all these characters. No, they don't always have to be in the show all at the same time uh, because there is something called life and life does diversify. And, and following a team of characters from this huge cast would be good enough for me. Spotlight episodes featuring one character out of a line of, of 20 uh, could lead to great, to good storytelling. You see, you don't have to follow like an animated. You don't, it, they limited to five characters and relied on one or two characters to do spotlights or stories on, like Bumblebee. Okay, one with Bumblebee, two with Bumblebee, and and maybe the kid or two with Bumblebee and uh, and the big and that big guy, uh, but Bumblebee, 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 three episodes in a row where he doesn't even seem to remember what happened in the last episode. No, I hate that. Let's see. So, we're down to the last question, yay! And it is, what, aside from Transformers, do you enjoy as a hobby and why? Well, going on Second Life is good. Building in Second Life is even better. Uh, doing things like the giant snail races in Second Life is the best. I have fun with with all these people who choose to be in the giant snow races, uh, I spend most of my time still looking at uh, the uh, anime on YouTube posted by Funimation and other companies who choose to post their anime for everyone to enjoy for free on YouTube. And that is, that is what I do. Uh, most, but mostly the Giant Snow Races is my main hobby outside of tra collecting Transformers, which I will probably start doing once my paychecks start coming in regularly. Well, okay, this has been Salem Blood. And uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch both of these videos. Uh, thank you to Moonbase 2, um, Cal Prime for uh, doing this third one. So I can uh, answer these wonderful questions and let people know who I am. And so uh, this is Salem Blood saying goodbye all. Have a good week. And I uh, hope you enjoy the, the year out there. So bye-bye.